I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me. I do try to stay positive, but I also stay real. And this is fucking real right now. Hi, welcome to me. This is my next meal prep video. So basically, I'm going to be trying to get myself to a point of um, doing these meal prepping sessions once a week. And then weeks that I can't or I don't have the energy to or I just don't fucking feel like it. That's going to be the videos where I pull out all my frozen stuff I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to thaw. And how I'm going to use those supplementing other things to so that way I don't have to do this style of batch cooking. Um, in fact, I feel like this week's crazier than last week's because... I'm gonna be cooking more so things that I know my family's definitely gonna like. Like my mom and I bought a fuck ton of green beans, for example. I'm gonna be blanching like, I think we got like four pounds of green beans or something. Um, because by the end of the prep, my mom was like, man, I wish I had had more green beans. And I was like, honestly, me too. Cause like, I pretty much was wanting to eat them every day because I really enjoy them, especially I liked how they paired with the enchilada bake. And I've still got two portions left in the fridge and everything else is frozen. The um, egg roll in a bowl is gone um, and I still have some, well, besides what's been frozen. Because um, I froze a little bit of everything I made and that's what I'm going to do today too. I have the leftover um, cabbage sliced cabbage and shredded carrots that are still good and so I'm thawing out one pound of pork and I'm gonna make a smaller repeat batch of that the peanut sauce I went out to the fresh market today got a fuck ton of sweet potatoes and they had mangoes two for a dollar fifty I don't know if you remember when I bought them on the vlog they were two for five dollars so high key I bought eight and, and and so my plan with that is I'm going to um, like prep them all um, I'm gonna like slice slice the cores out and basically I haven't I, I wanted to have some mango today so I'm gonna eat the like little bits around the cores and I'm gonna cons consider that pretty much about one mango um, and then I'm gonna pre slice up everything and put it in a container so that way it's more like easily accessible for me and my mom I've got a pineapple to slice up I've got I have a whole list gotta prep the sweet peppers that I bought at the discount store um, I'm going to be prepping carrots, potatoes, and broccoli stem. Also, um, the tree part of the broccoli because uh, that's going to go in the rice casserole dish that I'm making today. I'm currently defrosting one of the cheddar broccoli rice sides that I got at the main discount store. And then when I went to the other discount store at my doctor's office, um, I bought a fuck ton of uh, cheesy cauliflower rice. And so I'm going to mix that with the prepped cauliflower rice i'm gonna make some chunked up chicken and then um i'm going to basically make like a cheesy chicken rice casserole but it's like a shortcut version which i'm really into because i've got a bunch of other stuff i want to prep i want to make the egg roll and bowl again but i'm basically gonna be making about half of what i made last week um just because i don't want those veggies to go bad and i have so many baked sweet potatoes and so far um I like to eat it with egg roll in a bowl and I like to eat it with cottage cheese and mustard. So we also got more cottage cheese. I'm also going to be prepping and cooking up some of the Italian sausage links that I got at the discount store. And I'm just going to pre-slice some pepperoni and throw it in a baggie. Um, because I don't, I won't even be using a whole serving of pepperoni, but I want to put both in um, the, I'm going to be basically making like the cottage cheese pizza bowl, but on a baked potato. So. I, I, when I eat my baked potatoes and the sweet potatoes, I'm not adding butter or oils to them um, because that's part of like what I'm doing personally to make sure that I'm keeping uh, the, the portions and caloric density in check. So that's basically all the prep that I'm doing right now. Um, and then I did get, an, uh, I did place an Amazon order because I needed a couple of things. And the main reason that I placed this order is it's not going to be here till Monday. Um, but, oh, good. Okay, so I got, I'm, I'm, I'm on a, trying to figure out how to make my hair less awful. Actually, I am kind of having a good hair day today, but because I'm cooking, I'm not going to bring it down. But, um, 
I went ahead and got some more caffeine free electrolytes. I haven't tried this brand. If you've tried it, let me know. I liked all the flavors, uh, so I was really interested in it. Um, it's okay. So this is not a zero calorie electrolyte. This, but it's only thirty five calories. This was the other reason I made the order because I'll show you, I'll be show you guys the soap that I bought and talking about that once it arrives. But um, I mentioned Miriam gets healthy on my channel before. Um, I really like her, um, like the way that she cooks and the way that she eats and stuff. It's got all smushed in the bag. Um, this is pure pea protein. And so she tends to put like two spoonfuls of this whenever she makes like a cottage cheese dip. Like I could put this in so many things. Like I could literally make a stew and just put a few spoonfuls in this and just boost the protein. Um, because there it one tablespoon has eight grams of protein so two 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 tablespoons is easily almost 20 grams of protein anytime i'm making you guys see how i cook i do a lot of like um stew type like you know bowl slop style meals and this is perfect um because and the ratio to that by the way is 40 calories to eight grams of protein if you care about that because i think for me right now what i what i care the most about when it comes to like tracking food is that <clears throat> there's a good protein to calorie ratio in the food that I'm eating um and I just try to not eat excessive sugar or foods that have like no real nutritional value outside of um when they have mental health value you know and there's certain things you're really craving and certain things you really want I just try to be discerning about that let me get set up here um with prepping the mangoes and um Mangoes, sweet peppers, pineapple, carrots, potato, and broccoli stem. So I'm going to probably do a lot of that off camera because it's just going to be a lot of chopping. And frankly, I kind of feel like watching something while I do all this. Um, and I'm doing as much as I can um, before I turn on the oven and it gets hot and I get sweaty and gross because my parents, my mom keeps the house at like 78, 79 when the oven's not on. Okay, some time has passed. Honestly, probably at least an hour. I've got fruit juice all over me. I just finished um, dicing up a pineapple. I got one for $2 in the discount se section. So I wanted to go ahead and chop it up. It was perfectly ripe. So I'm really excited about that. Um, these are three mangoes. I tried dicing up or slicing up six. Three of them didn't pass my quality check. Um, one of them is honestly not ripe enough. So that's kind of annoying. I've got two more over there. Um that hopefully will be ripe after like three plus days um i prepped decapped and sliced in half the mini sweet peppers um i was thinking these would be good things to eat with the cottage cheese pizza bowls like as like a chip um just something to dip it with texture wise i thought this would be a good a good use for these um or just on the side of something maybe if i want to slice some of these up and saute them in something you know, there's this. Is, these are awesome. So I've got the broccoli stem and carrots here. I decided to zip out, or I decided to nope out on the potatoes because I have the baked potatoes. I don't. It's just not necessary. I, um, I can. Those potatoes will be good for some recipes next week. I'll figure something out with those. Um, and then for the. Right for the rice casserole dish, I like I wanted them to be big enough bites to be noticeable, but small enough for them to be you know about this size um, to add to the. Because I'm gonna be with what I'm making, I'm gonna add this and I'm gonna add a little bit of extra cheese to kind of boost up the cheesiness. Because um, I'm assuming that the cheese in the cauliflower rice is gonna be like your standard uh, pre-cheese steamer vegetable which is just not ever worth it for me on its own so we do have those extra colby jack sticks i'm probably gonna finally dice those and melt those in i did try i had to put end up putting two i like to do electrolytes in this sized cup so two of those equals out to um probably a little too much sugar for me in my opinion for a drink and what i'm doing right now obviously i'm going to use those up but Based on the flavor payoff, if you're someone who's like, 
more so into muscle building, like working out heavily. I think this would be a good option. Um, they taste good. They sure do. They do taste really good. I like them. Um, but I think next time I'll try a different brand. They were on sale and even when not on sale, they're a pretty good price, which is why I picked them. Um, so once I use these up, I will do some more research. I just don't want to spend like 30, 40 dollars on a canister and a lot of the like zero calorie like non-individual packaged ones are expensive honestly electrolytes I don't know if it's just because they're more popular they're just getting more expensive and so I don't know I've noticed a lot of really positive benefits um to my energy hydration levels other things since introducing electrolytes in and the zip fizzes are good enough like they work enough and my mom is the one that buys them but they have caffeine in them and I need a caffeine free option. And I do like that it doesn't have artificial sugars because I'm, I go back and forth. Like I don't restrict them entirely from my diet, but I don't like to eat a lot of them. You know, like that's why you'll never see me buying like zero sugar Reese's or things like that. I do, I will use like the sugar free pudding mix and some sugar free syrups depending. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of have a weird thing about that. Like I kind of go back and forth and high key. I didn't even look at the nutrition label before I bought it. I just, I think I just assumed that all electrolytes were going to be like the zero calorie packs, which obviously that's on me for making that assumption. And the next thing I'm going to do is cook up bacon and then whatever the grease is left over in, that's what I'm going to fry the green beans in. Cause I'm going to, as I'm cooking the bacon, I'm going to boil the water and blanch a bunch of green beans. I'm like really depleted just doing this i feel like i just spent an hour propping all these veggies thankfully the green beans are all like pre um here let me show you they were on sale at Publix, which is why we we got so many of them they're like pre-snipped ready to go you can actually i might just microwave these Hold, please. I'm going to microwave these. Because it comes in a microwavable bag. That'll save me a lot of time and steps. And, um... Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Alright, y'all. So I have this sweet Italian sausage here. I'm going to just brown this up real quick. I decased these. I've got that. Oh, this smells good. I haven't eaten this brand before. Ooh, this smells really good. I, whenever I make this kind of sausage, I don't um, season it normally. Unless it sucks. Because if this is a good brand, it should be flavored and seasoned on its own, right? Each of these links have almost 20 grams of protein each. And are good calorically. So they're only like 150 per link. So I'm really excited to try these. So we've got this week with the sales. I have pre-snipped microwavable green beans, so I don't have to blanch them, which is awesome. This is the prepped carrots and broccoli stock. I'm gonna. That's somewhere between one and two tablespoons of oil olive oil um the italian sausage is cooked and the bacon is going do a little bit of honey and do some garlic powder some ranch seasoning touch of the gochugaru not much I have not checked the weather yet, no. Okay, so I've got the sweet potatoes all stabbed. I had a little stabbing spree. I had to stab a bunch of green bean bags and sweet potatoes, so good way to get the aggression out. So I've been doing some research and carrots are not only good for the vitamin A issue, but the uh, good cholesterol issue. So, so is broccoli. Are all the sweet potatoes 
Uh, I, they're about to be thrown in the oven, but yes, as of right now, the sweet potatoes are gone. Those are, there's the regular baked potatoes if you want to use those. I'm, I'm about to make eight I'm sweet potatoes. If you want, um, that's Italian sausage right there. Might be too much for your stomach. Yeah, understood. I have, uh, I have my yummy chicken apple sausage. Oh, yeah, I saw. When I saw your name on it, I was like, damn. I was like, I was hoping I would get one of them. <laughs> but now I get it. But, um, oh, are those on the Costco list? No, they're full price. Ugh, okay. I mean, I'm just really trying to be mindful. Okay. When they're on sale, I'm stuck. Um, you can put the these in. These in. start for 400 let's do a 25 minute timer and so my idea um for that stuff that i'm defrosting yeah yes that's definitely overcooked i'll eat it i'll okay. eat my bacon very cooked good so far, this, this brand of bacon smells pretty good. Oh boy, does it. It also doesn't smell sugary either. Yeah, the U.S. smells that to be bacon. Mm-hmm. The bacon does not smell that good in Norway. <laughs> Do you want a slice of bacon with your meal? Oh, yeah. Okay. Actually, I took a little one. So they pull down a little and I'll mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Thankfully, you like it crunchy, heavily cooked. I don't like a bird, but I... This one might be a little too much for no, you. No, 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 don't worry about it. I'll eat it. Because it's just hot. Well, the good news is the other side isn't very burnt at all. It was actually perfectly cooked on one side. Mm. <laughs> I've got an eye roll. <laughs> this Only this one looks truly, like, messed up. It's this, yeah. If you want me to throw this one away, that's... Don't, don't ever throw any of that away. <laughs> This one's extremely cooked. No, I'm so bad. But this one, because I'm a chewy bacon girl. I'll show y'all in a minute. I got distracted doing the green beans. I'm salt, please. Oh, yeah. Here you go. I'm going to add just a little piece of my potato. Yeah. Oh, you're making like a mellow. I'll be out of your way. Bacon baked potato. Yummy. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. We don't nice. have we don't have um, sour cream, but we do have plain Greek yogurt, and we I do have cottage cheese. I don't need it. Okay. I love a baked potato without sour cream. I know. I'm oh, okay. Hot. Oh my heck! I need I need another slice of put on here. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, I had my cheese. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
let's go back it's two four zero we have a whole other pack of this bacon in the freezer too so this will and this will last us a while because this is a two pound package <laughs> I actually low-key burnt my thumb a little. Ow. Um, my craving green beans and frying up more bacon. Mm, let me... Mmm. I can tell that this bacon doesn't have any added sugar on it, which obviously would taste good, but for what I'm trying to do, that's good. That's some good quality bacon. I got... I got two pounds of it for five dollars. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but this is the completed Italian sausage. Let me try it. If you see that brand that was in my discount shopping video, that is some good Italian sausage. Have to sample the goods, you know what I'm saying? Hey friends. So I'm almost done cooking up all this bacon. I've got like another round or two left, but I've been siphoning off a lot of the grease. I left some of it in this round because I'm gonna I'm gonna fry up the green beans in two separate batches because I'm making so much of it. Like this is how much I've yielded um, for the dry that stays in the fridge. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just pack up. I can't show you properly from this angle. Um, so I'm doing a lot of like getting up and down. I'm gonna do two bags. Because bacon grease has so much salt in it, um, I'm not gonna add any just salt. I am gonna be using a seasoning that has salt in it. Um, it's not a ton of it. And then of course, garlic powder. garlic powder and then I'm gonna add some ranch seasoning and then I'm gonna do just a couple dashes of Worcestershire I'm gonna fry these up for just a couple minutes and then I'm gonna put them in this big bowl. I'm gonna finish out baking out the rest of the bacon and then I'm gonna repeat this stuff. And then I have more things to prep. <laughs> but I've got a good chunk of it done. The sweet potatoes and roasted for veggies are still in the oven. The sweet potatoes are almost done. This is the roasted carrot and broccoli stem. These are all of the green beans cooked. Um, I'm gonna be taking a bit of a break once I pull the sweet potatoes out. Mom wants to make pretzel buns for my brother. I love the pretzel buns. It's gonna be hard for me to <laughs> make sure I don't eat through those. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this in the container to start cooling. And then um, sweet potatoes. So the oven's about to be turned off and then I still need to make the rice casserole stuff that's all pretty much done to frosting at this point. Hi y'all, so I'm gonna take an intermission and um, a day or two ago, my mom um, went to Publix and they were out of my favorite salad, but she sent me these these two. I've never seen these before. I don't know if they're brand new, um, but I read the descriptions and I was like, these seem like they would actually be something I would like. There's the smokehouse, which is smoked bacon dressing barbecue croutons and smoked gouda um and then the french bistro is french honey dijon mustard which i love honey mustard that's the only other salad dressing i use besides the onion one that comes in the sunflower seed one um with croutons and cheese now i don't do cheese in my salad so i would always prefer the other salad option because it has like dried edamame it has sunflower seeds so like it has a little bit more to it both of these dressings sound delicious i've been cooking like crazy and i have two more i have two of each oh. 
I have two of each of these, so I need to eat one of these, like, today. Um, and I think I'm going to go with Smokehouse. So, I love these salad tips. Whenever they're on sale, I get them. Oh, wow. How is this one so much lower calorie than my normal one? That dressing in the other one must be, like crazy anyway okay with the cheese and croutons and the dressing this whole thing was only 310 calories yeah we're gonna add this and so I don't know how much it is without these but as much as I've been cooking today I haven't eaten that much um I had the two slices of bacon earlier, and then before I started cooking, earlier in the day, my mom cooked up a bunch of these Morningstar veggie breakfast sausage patties that we got at the discount store a long time ago, and baked off some biscuits, so I had two biscuits with two patties, that was it, that was like my whole meal. That's really all I've had so far today, so I'm going to eat this bowl of veggies, and um, I think when the cheesy broccoli rice thing is gets done here in a little bit i'm gonna eat some of that which is one of the reasons why i'm not bothering hitting up a protein this would be way better with some chicken i'm gonna eat my salad and then i will be back to make the rest of the stuff i'm gonna do tonight i'm probably gonna make the egg roll in the bowl like tomorrow or another day that salad did not alleviate my hunger as much as i wanted it to so i have a plate of sauteed bell peppers and onions green beans and a sweet potato um, and I'm going to add some cottage cheese and mustard. Cottage cheese and sweet potato mustard on both the sweet potato cottage cheese combo and the green beans. And honestly, these, uh, these bell peppers are going to go bad. That's the main reason I'm eating them right now. And I can't think of a way I'm going to use them um, in the immediate future. I'm going to eat this, watch my show, and um, I'll be back with... I'll be back with the, um, I don't know if I'm going to bake it off casserole style or just like heat it all up, melt it all together, and then you can just kind of spoon it and eat it your own way. You know what I'm saying? We'll see, because I'm, I'm fucking tired, dude. But this is the second part of my second meal of the day. Um, I'm so tired. All right, so I've got onions and the broccoli. Chicken chunks that I used in the uh, chicken enchilada bake. You know how I said they're big pieces? Well, I put on some gloves because I hate touching raw chicken. And I like pretty, like, lightly diced these. So they're gonna cook really fast. So I'm gonna, that's why I'm doing the veggies first. Um, because this is raw broccoli. We're gonna use ranch seasoning again because I'm on, um, I'm officially out of the chicken and waffle seasoning, which R.I.P. Um, and honestly, I think I need to, I might need to throw the seasoning away because like, see, but yeah. And I don't know, I'm not a huge ranch person, but I love ranch seasoning and I think it'll just be good with this dish. So. By the way, I'm currently doing a rewatch of Gilmore Girls. I was obsessed with Gilmore Girls as a teenager slash young adult. I... I literally, over the course of three birthdays and two Christmases, got all seven seasons on DVD. It was the first and really only series I ever owned on DVD because, like, we just didn't have money for that, like, back, back, back then, like, that kind of thing. Um, and so I was so excited. I remember when I finally got, like, the final season, I was like, the collection is complete. <laughs> and then streaming services came, so... That was one of the things that didn't sort of survive all the moving around that I've done. This smells so good. <laughs> oh, I need to grab the Worcestershire again. So I'm gonna dump this chicken in. I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire. A little ranch, not much. We're just gonna mainly go with salt on this one. 
a little more garlic. We're out of onion powder, so that's what I normally cook with, garlic and onion powder. So that chicken cooked super fast, just like I thought it would. Um, so I got each of these for 99 cents each at the discount store. So we're gonna use three bags. I feel like cheese is a generous description. <laughs> It's not even orange. I wonder if it's like mozzarella or something. I did just go ahead and defrost these um, just so that way the cooking process would be faster and easier. Perfect. Okay. So then, I'm gonna stir this in. Get this to start warming up. I got this at a different discount store. This is from Hudson's. The other one is from the one that was by my work. This is the item. I showed it in a previous video if you saw that. This looks interesting so of course you can do these things from scratch instead you know like you can make your own rice and add your own ingredients i'm just working with what i got what i got on a uh, discount on sale this is like how i make up recipes based on what i buy from um different discount places to help cheese up the cauliflower, this is a total of five sticks of Colby Jack. Um, like they're like individually wrapped cheese sticks. They've been in our refrigerator for a long time. We're gonna add a little bit of this. And so there's more cauliflower than actual rice, but what I've come to learn is that when you mix rice, like real rice in cauliflower rice, let me turn this up a little bit. When you mix real rice with cauliflower rice, it makes the cauliflower rice taste more like real rice. And um, I just, I personally enjoy it. And it's a great way to like get more veggies in, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm glad, it, I'm glad I added some fresh broccoli. That was, that was the move. I went ahead and I did add the rest of the cheese. It definitely needed it. Let's do a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice mixture, a little bit of broccoli. I might need to add salt. I'm gonna taste it first though. I did not blow on it enough. Definitely need salt. I think I just burnt my tongue a little. I, I blew on it too for a good bit. This needs something and it's not salt. <laughs> Ooh. I think I honestly want to add more cheese, but I'm not going to. Maybe I just, I think I would have probably preferred to use cheddar. I think cheddar would have been better in this than Colby Jack. Oh, that did something. Mmm, okay. It's very simple. Actually, it's a little bit more. And then we're going to do a little bit of this. I did it again at the ranch. If you don't have like a pre-made thing, um, I would just, you know, use like two-thirds cauliflower rice, one-third rice. It's kind of roughly what I did. Maybe a little less on the cauliflower. I'm not sure. I just use the pre-packed, pre-measured stuff. I can't whistle. How did I make that noise? See, I can't, if I think about it, I can't do it. It just needed more seasoning. Mmm. Look at me go. I hope you'll have a great rest of your day, wherever you are. Cheers. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops.